Hey everyone, I'm Allison and you're watching Long Island Thrifter. Today I've got an 18 hour layover in Madrid, Spain. So let's go thrifting. Whenever I get to a new city, I'd like to Google all their thrift stores. And that's what I did while I was in Madrid. Although I went from Google down to Yelp for some reason, and I don't know why I did that. And I found just a few. Again, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was pretty tired at that point. So I was looking at the Google one, but I didn't really like really process it. And then I went to the top 10 list for Yelp, which is this one. And I honed in on this one little area. And it turns out while they had three or four thrift shops listed on this street, it turns out there were 12. So it was a good time. My first stop was Williamsburg, not Brooklyn, but the shop. And this one actually had some good items, but I have to say this one seemed a little pricier than some of the other ones I went into later. They did have some denim jackets and denim shirts, things like that. And then when I looked at the t-shirts, well, I immediately saw this kiss one, which was on the end. But as you can see, it's a screen printed label, which means it was made after 2010. So these were not vintage. This was 12 euros. All of these t-shirts were 12 euros, uh, which is about $13 and 11 cents as of taping this video. They had a back room. Uh, jeans were 35 euro and there were some trench coats, raincoats. Oh, maybe people in LA could use those today. Mm, sorry. I liked this place a lot. This was El Rincon de Tia Yo. All right. Again, I'm going to mess this up, so don't make fun of me. Uh, they had some great jewelry. It was beautifully laid out, and I loved all of their clothing was just really beautiful. They also marked their clothing with, with colored ribbon that uh, indicated what time period they were from. So it may be like green was the 60s or yellow was the 70s, that kind of thing. But it was a really cute shop, very well curated and beautiful displays. Across the street, I found this shop called Biba Vintage, and I popped in there for a second or two and checked out some of their items. It was another cute store I would definitely recommend. And actually, I just recommend this whole street. Just go in and out of all the shops. Then I walked into another shop. I'm sorry, I don't remember which one. But I checked out some of their t-shirts, like this Tommy Jeans 1985 one. And then I saw this Nike one. Okay, you tell me, is this weird? Like, look at the trademark TM next to Nike and then above the swoosh. It just didn't seem right to me. I just felt like it was weird. Um, and I couldn't find any others that looked like it online. Then I saw this Duff Fruit of the Loom t-shirt, which I thought was cute. And I looked it up. They go for like 11 to $15. I couldn't find any sold comps, just these two that are for sale. But uh, this one was 20 euro. And, uh, but it was in really good condition. I decided not to go for it. Too expensive for my taste. Then I found this Harvard Law t-shirt, which was in good condition. It was made by Champion. And uh, I looked it up. I found one for sale. Not the exact same one either for $35 and no sold comps. Then I walked over to this one, La Mona Checa, uh, which is like a circus themed kind of place. Um, walked in there quickly, walked out. It was fine. I was debating on which one to go into next. As you can see, I chose this one over here, Ekeko, and uh, I saw their three euro sign and I thought, oh, let's check out and see what they've got for three euros. Lots of blouses and shirts and things like that. Uh, very colorful items. One thing I have noticed about European thrift stores is that it's really about clothing and it's not much about housewares or any of the other things that I love. I love going through. I haven't found those kinds of thrift stores yet or secondhand stores. 
I did go into Magpie and I have to tell you this is probably my favorite one on the street. It definitely has a variety of clothing and a variety of prices. I think most of them though being on the lower end uh, which is great. Three euro, five euro, ten euro, things like that. There's a whole section that is of um, lower priced items but it varied and this is a huge store compared to most of the other ones. I really loved this little Harley Davidson toddler like onesie. It was adorable and just so cute. I think that was 10 euro. Um, I passed it up. I know my uh, some of my family who just had babies probably like, I don't want your secondhand stuff. Then I walked over to Alphaville Sport, another favorite on the street. Really incredible. If you're into sports memorabilia and old jerseys and things like that, this is the place to go. We're talking like 60, 80 and over a hundred euro for a jersey. Uh, but some of these are pretty incredible. Alphaville across the street is more Hawaiian themed or uh, casual clothing. Um, I'm assuming that Alphaville and Alphaville Sport are affiliated or maybe they're not. Maybe they're two different things. Then there was Best Secondhand Selection. This is an absolutely gorgeous shop. Beautifully curated. Uh, this is high end, definitely more the luxury brands. And it shows. It's uh, well decorated and there's not packed packed racks as you can see uh, they have some really nice items I found these Ralph Lauren uh, or Lauren by Ralph Lauren uh, leopard shoes they were 65 euro when I did look them up on eBay you can find them anywhere from 35 to 40 or so dollars so I um, I passed those up but they were really pretty and they were in great condition as pretty much everything here was, I love this purse, which was really cool, a Carapusa, uh purse. And I did look this one up online and I found one that had sold for 44. The street Calle del Vallarde in Madrid is a jackpot for thrift stores. You've got to come check it out. It's really cool. There's so many stores. I think I counted about eight of them and they're really neat. You can find uh, some great clothing, reasonable prices, some stores a little higher, like 20 euro for a t-shirt or thereabouts, 23 euro for a dress. And I'll put a conversion um, on the screen uh, so you can check, see what the dollar is to the euro. Um, but you you should definitely come check this out when you're in Madrid. Very fun. Thanks for watching Long Island Thrifter. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button. And if so inclined, please subscribe. Until next time, keep on thrifting.